Hello Tech9 and welcome to Fragomatic Belgium. Joining me is Warclown from TCM. Uh, he's just testing out some Rockhack gear at the moment. Uh, Simon, can you tell us how the gear plays? Uh, the gear seems very nice. It's, uh, I like the design of it. It's uh, clean and simple, but still it's got a lot of function. And uh, the overall, like, it's not too much light, but still it adds enough for it to look nice. Uh, the mouse feels very, very good. Uh, uh, it's a, it's kind of too big for my hand and for some of the other players in my team, but some some players uh, prefer bigger mouse and some prefer like smaller mouse, so it's kind of individual. But it feels like a very good mouse and it's got a lot of functionality on it. And uh, I haven't tested out the software for it yet, but I've heard it's very good. Okay, now talking about organization and gear and all that, how has um, your new organization TCM been treating you? Everything okay? Uh, yeah, everything's fine so far. Uh, we haven't been in TCM for that long yet, but they've sent us to this event, which uh, doesn't have like the amount of prize money an organization wants to send their team to. Uh, but they sent us here so we can boot camp and we can gel as a team. And uh, so far it's gone well, and I hope that our cooperation with TCM will go further and we will keep on with this deal, because it's all good. How about being reunited with a big part of your previous team when you guys were playing for Reason? How does that feel? It feels uh, well nice, to be honest, because uh, in Reason we had a lot of, uh, we had a lot of team, ke team chemistry. Uh, we all gel together like, well and we all play together well. We know how we play individually, so it makes it easier to prepare this new team. But we have to practice for uh, the upcoming months because we got three events in March, I think, now in April. So um, I'm really looking forward to attending more events and I think we'll do good together. Okay. How does the addition of Paul work out? Is it uh, helping you at all? Uh, yeah, it's helping us a lot because uh, he makes us focus only on our game. He takes care of everything at land, like booking the hotel, making everything happen, talking to the admins. All we have to do is sit down and play. He also has a lot of gaming knowledge because he's been in the scene for God knows how many years, more than I've been in this earth. And uh, he pro provides a lot of um, tips and things we can use in game. He sees stuff that we can't see while playing because he ob observes the entire team. He's uh, very good at motivating the team as well. He's standing behind, he's like the European version of Jason Lake from Complexity. And uh, we're very excited about having him on board and uh, I'm happy with it. Okay, you already mentioned that your team sees FOM as a, a sort of competitive boot camp, but how did the uh, event go for you? Was it uh, organized well and all that? Yeah, everything has uh, kind of gone to plan, after plan. Uh, and they've added like this uh, big break in the middle, and that takes care of all the delays. So we got to play all our games when we kind of wanted to, and it was a long day yesterday, because uh, there's a lot of games, but. And uh, about the team performance at this event, we'll, we've done what we come here to do. We managed to get top three. Uh, we didn't play that well against Lowland Lions in the first game. Uh, that's our own fault because we haven't practiced enough on train. Uh, we did well though in the lower bracket constellation final against them. We drew them and they've been playing together for many years now. And I see a lot of potential and I think that we can build on this for sure. Well, you're not the only ones to draw against Lowland Lions here. Uh, very Games did the same. But out of, outside of those three teams, were there any Belgian teams that left somewhat of an impression? Yeah, uh, I don't remember all the team names, but we had some close games. Uh, it was that Rodcad team. Uh, they hit basically the most insane shots I've ever seen. Uh, and I've been playing in the top scene for about a year or something. and. I've been play. I've played with feather, fetish and players like that, and they never hit shots like that. So I don't know. They're simply amazing. That team. What can I say? <laughs> okay. Well, um, congratulations on your third place. Um, as a closer, would you like to tell Rich anything after uh, Thursday's match? Yeah, uh, I would like him to keep entertaining us with all his uh, funny comments on Cadred. Uh, we're not going to reply you because basically we think what you're talking is gibberish and. Uh, if you keep up that way, no one will respect you as a gamer, not that anyone does at the moment either. But you should try to become more of a professional gamer and yeah, play better. Okay, Simon, thanks for your time and uh, enjoy playing. Thanks. 